Hi everyone, uh, this is my second video on the flight controllers uh, for your simulators. This is me sharing my experience with various controllers. I've done a review on my oldest uh, controller, which is actually Logitech Xtreme 3D Pro. Uh, the video, you can find it up here in the link on down below in the comments. Uh, today, we're going to go through another controllers for your flight simulators. Uh, however, this will not be a comprehensive one because, uh, uh, anyway, it is the Cytec XY5. Unfortunately, it's now single, which is only the stick. Uh, so it's video now, so it's without the partners, which is the throttle. What happened with the Toro is actually I've already tear it down and dismantle it and modify it fully and then put into my FA18C uh, DIY cockpit. If you want to know uh, my DIY uh, FA18C DIY cockpit, you can find the link up here uh, in the in the video uh, and then down there also in the description. So that is uh, me using the cockpit and also uh, for video of building a 12 month process of building the DIY cockpit. Anyway, going back to this XY5 is now single units, so it's only the stick without the throttle. So I might touch the throttle a bit, but I won't talk much because anyway, I don't have the unit to show you. Um, so yeah, so this will be the stick only uh, review at this moment. Anyway, because it's using a separate USB cable so it can function as a single unit uh, as a joystick or the flight control uh, and uh, or combined with the throttle itself to form the hot test functions okay uh, so this can be used as a single unit as a joystick only so it has a twist rider functions uh, and then of course the roll and pitch uh, it has precision movement, as they said, pretty okay. And in my uh, uh, finding, it's actually only 14 buttons. Uh, but if you plug it into your computer and then see it in USB controllers, it shows like 17. But I cannot find it anyway. So I'm not sure why they they listed uh, like 17 buttons. And uh, of course, three analog axis, as I mentioned, the pitch roll and then uh, rudder. Uh, it already uses a Hall FX sensors, so it's contactless for this stick. But I think on the throttle, they still use potentiometer, if I'm mistaken. So, yeah, because I modified that uh, units, uh, the, the, the throttle itself is uh, massive buttons there. I mean, it's 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 fully programmable okay um, it comes with four option of spring they call it feel uh, spring tension spring so I think the the, the most uh, the hardest one is green this is the longest travel and also with uh, more uh, Newton per millimeters kind of strength and the second one is the blue so you can see the the size and then the third one is the yellow yeah and the one that i put it is actually the red one so the lightest one so the smaller uh, the the yeah the uh yeah the shortest one and also the less tension one uh I, I think i i mostly use the yellow one but it's just uh testing the red one because um yeah, I'll, I'll tell you why, definitely. But anyway, uh, if you can see, there is a, a eight-way head switch. So you can uh, use this one for view, for example, your alternate viewing, uh, not using the mouse or something. Yes, this is quite handy. This one is the eight-way uh, switch. Uh, sorry, four-way switch. Uh, so you can use this one for, uh, let's say, for... Uh, trimming as usual uh, with this kind of uh, circlic uh, 
format format uh, this one you can use for other things this one you you should use this one for weapons selections because let's say if you want to use f-18 or, or some other aircraft that has the weapon selection here unfortunately this one on the side one is actually only a uh, single button yeah no no uh, four-way kind of switch here so you have to move your weapon here and then the side stick uh, side switch here you can use for something else this one weapon release as usual there are bombs or something yeah and then of course the main trigger switch up front for your gun or missile something and your pinky switch uh, and then designate or undesignate button here usually on on this red one here yeah so it's pretty pretty okay i mean you can uh configure your uh, dcs uh aircraft uh, pretty much covered here okay so if you see something strange uh, there's something here uh this is my uh if you can see this is uh, a palm rest this one is actually my i've 3d printed it i've designed it myself and 3d printed because one of the issues in here in this uh in its um, i'll talk about it later but the, let's talk about the pros first okay it's the pricing is okay it's mid-range not as cheap as the logitech extreme 3d pro and durability definitely with whole effect sensors uh, it's look nice it's a, like a fighter plane kind of a stick so it's very like wow it's, uh, menacing looks uh, more option definitely because a lot of hatchways here um, with eight way four way uh, yeah you 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 pretty covered here uh, and I when I'm using it uh, I find that the hot test software the software provided to configure the throttle and this stick especially configuring the throttle because tr the throttle have a lot of switch right but, um, a lot of switch a toggle switch push button joystick whatever you you can configure your uh, dcs fighter aircraft uh, uh, completely with uh, i mean almost cover the whole controller right? with that uh, uh, Troll. I cannot show you the throttle. You can find it somewhere online, though. Uh, it's pretty, really good. Now the cons, though, as I mentioned, if you see in the screen, uh, it has a prominent detent. You know, it's like uh, not as smooth to move out of the center. Uh, that's why I'm exper uh, experimenting with the lighter uh, spring. If you use a heavier spring, you definitely have to kind of like like uh like not a natural kind of way and it's less accurate so it kind of tend to overshoot a bit especially when you are trying to be more accurate because the d10 was so uh kind of like um not smooth uh i'll, I'll show you why i think the design that way uh causing that that kind of experience okay uh and also in many videos, if you you found uh, one of the weakness on this uh, is the stickiness. Like kind of like that's the problem. Also part of the detent and the stickiness because the design of it caused that kind of uh, problems. Okay, and uh, the third one is less ergonomics because I have a medium size, I guess, a smaller hand, I guess, Asian smaller hand. Uh, if I'm using this one, I tend to drop my hands and I find to, uh, difficulty in reaching this head switch, right? Uh, yeah, and and that's why I, I 3D print this uh, palm rest here to support my hands, uh, so I kind of like not dropping my hand below. If I uh, kind of not having this one, my hand will be like here, and I have to move uh, up to, to reach this trim, especially. Um, yeah so it's not not really that nice i mean i think it's too long not com not com uh, short enough so but i, I think for larger hand uh, it's quite pretty okay okay but the other switch i'm okay the other switch i don't have problem okay only on resting my palm usually during long flight i will tend to drop my hand and I, to 
kind of not quickly reach the this uh, trim button, for example, the trim switch. And the other one is actually this switch is very odd locations. Okay, so you have to kind of like if you put it here, I will definitely cannot reach it. Okay, so it's kind of like uh, with my uh, middle thumb kind of driving this switch because I have to move my hand out and then then be able to manipulate the switch um, properly. Uh, I think the other newer models uh, like PKB, Purple, I think they kind of like uh, spread around in the kind of uh, radial uh, reach. So I think I can reach ergonomically while he, this one is like uh, kind of put in the odd locations. Okay. Ergonomic wise, I'm not so fond of it. So it's kind of like less ergonomic to me. The, the fourth one is the plastic key feel. Uh, if you can see, it's shiny here. Previously, it's matte. Uh, I think it's covered with some rubbery coating, rubber coating kind of thing. And after a few years, I think I've, I owned this already like uh, more than five years, definitely. Uh, I think it's around I think almost, almost 10 years. I think after I bought the Logitech uh, Xtreme 3D Pro, I bought this set the throttle and the, the plastic and yeah at that time it's a matte finish with a rubbery feel so quite nice but after i think three five years it's becoming very sticky like i i've lived in a tropical country right so kind of like oxidized the rubbers and then it's very sticky and you cannot even touch like a like a sticker like a glue right so i have to like i have to clean it up I think there's several still left behind in, in some of the nook and cranny here. Um, I cannot clean it up. And it was really, really not nice. Okay. Uh, and uh, luckily, the marking is not disappearing because I'm using kind of a, kind of a, a citric uh, uh, oil. Uh, and I think it's working well in cleaning up this mess. Uh, and fortunately, it doesn't. Uh, don't use the uh, what do you call it the solvents uh, for painting or something. Paint paint solvent. Don't use that. I think I'm using the acetic. Uh, I, I think I forgot the name though. The the oil for for your like for you for using for your skin, for example, for warming up your skin. That acetic acetic uh, oil is actually uh, able to peel off all the glue so some some left behind but it's pretty pretty clean up all and there's some metal here accent um, there's some probably some left behind uh, glue or stickiness anyway that is plastic looks definitely after i clean it up it's become more plastic i guess in terms of looks um yeah that's mostly the 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 cons I think more cons I guess with this stick compared with my Logitech Xtreme 3D Pro though that is not comparable in terms of the professionalism in terms of the the market uh, segments but I think that uh, Logitech Xtreme 3D Pro is less hustle you know you just use it a very ergonomics uh, the, the, the 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 kind of the the use the hand you, when you rest in the extreme Logitech Extreme 3D Pro is much more nicer compared to this one. Is this is not really uh, comfortable? Uh, yeah, especially without this one. Uh, with this one also, it's not really that comfortable. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, so that is uh, the the cons and um, related to the D10 and the stickiness. I think I'll try to open this. You can open this by unscrew this. Uh, there is a kind of a, a big, a big screw here, and with this contact point here, you can try to use a spray or contact uh, cleaner just to ensure this one is clean and uh, be able to contact with the base properly. Okay, so just put in the straight line and then start turning or uh, tightening it uh, clockwise and counterclockwise to open it, okay? So you can uh, detach this to access the spring, uh, but you cannot replace it because there's no other option, you know, only the stick. I guess that there might be some future option probably, 
if they want to. But yeah, I don't think the the base design is the best one. Uh, I think the newer one with cam uh, models with the cam and the and the spring uh, dual spring cam. I think it's much more uh, kind of versatile compared with the single spring like this one and also the warthog uh, flight stick but at a time probably that's the probably the best option so if you want to access a spring you have to uh, i think you have to just unclip this one upward okay and then you have to there's uh you can see there's a split uh with this plastic so you can uh, kind of split the plastic this way and be careful the spring will be will jump okay so then that's it so you split this uh what do you call it and then you can access the, the spring right if you want to change to yellow for example uh you can just put it here and then press it down and uh, put the there's a detent there that you have to look for it uh, okay so there's a detent here no second or here so then the other pair from the other side so it will clip together and will quite uh, stay in place until it's uh, secured with this uh, ring so i'll tell you why this those stickiness happens so what happened is that uh there is uh this part uh if you can see closely uh, this part is move up and down actually basically if you move here uh, it will go up and move here it will go up to the other way so basically this one is the the base uh, for the spring to to kind of like push it down so it will push to the center if you push it to the left it will go up and press the string and then uh, uh, it uh, the spring will probably push down again this plate so it will center back right so it's pretty effective in terms of centering uh, the problem with this there will be some uh, kind of dust here in the shelf in the center shelf and you you pretty easily collected uh, a lot of dust in the center shelf and it create of stickiness right so kind of like not smooth i'm using a uh, silicone grease uh, combined with like a silicone uh, coating uh, not silicone coating I think it's uh, the other one I, I forgot the name though it's a very uh, very uh, smooth finish uh, when you for uh, I've got a frictionless kind of spray uh, so yeah this one is the one that caused the bind you know like an unsmooth uh, you will get the unsmooth uh, feeling in terms of uh, out of the uh, center position, and also it's it's kind of like kind of like a, not a very smooth design, and it kind of change with the dual cam access uh, spring access systems with the newer model like VKB, Verbal, and other. Uh, you can change the type of the cam, so you it will provide a smoother or uh, more prominent detent here you cannot change it basically it's it is what it is so that is the one of the drawback with this kind of uh, models uh, the hotas uh, joystick has a larger uh, uh, spring uh, around this size compared to this one is very small and that's why it's very kind of uh, stiff uh, compared with the like hot uh, the warthog uh, thrustmaster warthog has provide more kind of smoother feeling but still it's 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 the older kind of technology i guess in my opinion so you clip this one to secure the the split uh, ring which holds the spring so this ring is this uh, like a, the 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 ring that secure the 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 ring that holds the spring so here it's very tough uh, with the yellow one but once you put the, the stick here so let me and then you tighten it up uh, clockwise until it's so it's no longer hard of course because it's it's a force uh, the the lever effect on the on the stick okay so 
I think the yellow one is much more general purpose kind of spring. If you want the heavier one, I've tried the green one, but it's too heavy, definitely too heavy. And that kind of like just to exit the center uh, detent position, uh, you need a lot of force and kind of like overshoot a bit. And it's not really nice. And if you want to fly precisions, uh, it's like it's very difficult to kind of make it, you know, this one is pretty OK. Not the nicest one, like you feel like there's a, some force in the detent or the center kind of locations. And uh, I don't know. I, I didn't really like it. I I rarely use this uh, joystick anymore. Of course, with my new VKB and Firbel Warbird base in my FA-18C uh, DIY cockpit, uh, this one have lesser purposes. The other, the other drawbacks, I guess, I'm not mentioning today, uh, in, uh, previously, uh, before, is the base. You see, this is a very big box, uh, and uh, and there's uh, there's I think there's a way to to attach this with some clamp. I forget, but there's four screw location here that you can uh, they were provided a screw position here. So you can screw this one or bolt it into your uh, rig or your cockpit. Uh, that's pretty OK. But the base is really big. I don't think the electronic required that big, you know. And uh, with Trustmaster Warthog, for example, it's only this size, right, of this ring and going down. So it's very compact. You can put it in the side stick or even in your center uh, between your tie or a center line uh, joystick positions, that's doable. This one, you cannot do that. If you put it in center between your thigh, uh, well, it's going to hurt your leg over here. Uh, I, I don't, I don't, I cannot imagine that. And there's no extension uh, accessories available also. Someone probably make it themselves, I don't know. But even with that extension, probably you can uh, use the stronger uh, spring with this detent, I think it's not going to provide a smooth kind of experience, in my opinion. And also the base, this is the base, it's difficult, you know. The only way you put it in the side stick, clamp into your desk. Uh, of course, it, the positive way uh, one is actually provide a good base, like right? it's stable uh, if you put it uh, attached to your desk uh, because of the large base. It's provide a good stability, so it's not easily tilt. Yeah, uh, when you when you properly clamped it, uh, even if you use I'm using a Velcro here, uh, it's pretty strong enough. Uh, it's strong enough to hold this space uh, without any kind of uh, you know being tilted left or right or up and down. So that is uh, X55 flight stick or flight control system. They call it advanced control flight system, Mach, whatever, uh, with the Rhinos, uh, the X55 Rhinos, they call it the, the branding for this one with the HOTA software. HOTA software is good and modern and taking a lot of features in, in it combined with the throttle. I think the throttle is really, really good um, in terms of options, but not durability because it's plastic compared to Warthog uh, hot test. It's definitely for almost all metal switch and everything. Um, X55 uh, or Cydec prefer uh, actually opt to use a plastic, mostly plastic material. So it's less durable. But again, if you are not a heavy users, non-commercial, just for you know weekenders or yeah, you don't drive it to the limits. I think it should last long. This one has been many years with me, no problems with Hall effect sensors. Uh, it's still okay, and I haven't, I didn't tear down this stick <laughs> uh, except for the throttle. I tear it down and I've modified it, and no longer available now, so it's gone and becoming something else. Okay, so that is the X55 stick. Uh, the last, I think, the last thing that I would like to talk basically for whom? Definitely for more serious uh, fighter sim users, more toward a fighter uh, jet simulator because it, the looks is probably not for the space sim. But if you don't care the looks, you still can use for the space sims combined with probably the other sticks you have. Uh, should be okay. Uh, similar, I, uh, I think. 
similar with the Logitech uh, Extreme 3D Pro, it's not ambidextrous, so it's only for right hand. Uh, there's no for left hand. Uh, even the Logitech Extreme 3D Pro, although it's it's the the side button here is less prominent, you still kind of use in your left hand although it's quite a bit odd, but it's much better because the center button in the Logitech uh, Extreme 3D Pro is more ambidextrous, so you can use it still on your left hand. Because I'm using it for my A320neo Airbus uh, in FS2020 using uh, Logitech Extreme 3D Pro, I can use it with my left hand. I have no issues except for those uh, side button. Uh, this kind of button over there will still be on the left side, so it's un a bit hard to reach, but it still can can use it. But this one definitely not. I mean, you know, I mean, I don't. You won't be able to use it on your left hand definitely because it's it's not designed for your left hand. This one is for right hand only. Okay, and this is uh, I think it's okay for heavier use. Uh, because it's Hall FX sensors, it's provide durable kind of uh, durability for longer uh, use, heavier use, long uh, for a long time, uh, without getting probably less accurate with compared with normal potentiometers uh, technology. However, the plastic uh, belt, if you probably uh, drop this some sometimes after many years, I think it could broke, right? It was not built for durability in terms of the physics, but the sensor is, I think, pretty okay. That's in my opinion, by the way. So I think many, many people already review this stick. This is an old stick anyway. I just made this video just to uh, kind of like put a catalog of what I've experienced. Uh, oh, by the way, the newer version is definitely X56, not 55 anymore. So I don't think this is not not no longer produced, already replaced with six uh, X56 versions. And I think it's still in the market with the different, this one is yellow, uh, the newer one uh, have a blue tone uh, markings. Uh, I don't know why. I like the yellow one. It's more uh, like a, a warning sign or something like a, a much. Yeah, but this one is for my, fighter sims uh, simulator strategy or fighter uh, games whatever it is uh, fighter jet games rather than for space uh, simulators things like that so it's kind of odd but pretty okay uh, i think there's some screw here i i'm not sure if that's an accent or not i think some the newer joystick can replace some of the headsets probably i think they might have some thoughts of making it uh, kind of uh, modifiable uh, with the replaceable stick hand stick for example not sure but until now I haven't seen any kind of like F14 or F18 FA18 for example compare with like Trashmaster have up to uh, 8 hand uh, C models uh, flight stick and FX F16 model also using the same stick models and then they create nut grips, uh, hand grips for FA-18C, and who knows, they might create some other sticks in the future for the, their base. So it's it's more modifiable for Trustmaster. For, but for this one, uh, you can stop with this. Okay, so I think it's enough. Uh, um, I This is less, I, uh, less a favorite stick for me. Uh, I rarely use this one now uh, with my other options like PKB, Verbal, and uh, of course the Trustmasters uh, Airbus A320 uh, grip, hand grip uh, joystick, I mean, and throttle quadrant. So this this model, uh, I mean this X55, is rarely being put into my cockpits. Okay? But yeah, you know, I mean, if you got one, yeah, it's pretty okay, but not my favorite one. Okay? Okay, see you. Thank you.